so good evening my dear student how are you i hope you all are fine today we are going to start a new topic of the same chapter that we read the the previous period that is balance diet we will start now with belongs to the chapter food we eat so let's start so what is balanced diet balanced diet definition comes in your exam regularly so we should be thorough with the definition that is a diet that contains a diet or diet that contains all right nutrients all right nutrients in a right amount or in a correct amount in a right amount so that means the all the special substances or the nutrients that required for the body is situated in the right amount nothing more nothing less that is known as balanced diet so this balanced diet is very much required for your good health so there are many groups of food which is associated with this balanced diet uh so there are four groups of food first is your milk group milk group first is your milk group so milk group basically provides us proteins fats and minerals so it includes milk and its products that is cheese curd etc so what it provides it provides proteins some amount of fat also and as you know milk are very good source of vitamin so vitamins note it down you can also pause the video and note it down so now comes the next group that is protein group protein group protein group so what is included in that protein group obviously it will provide protein so meat fish nuts eggs okay and also peas etc etc peas are also providers proteins and also some amount of fats next the third group is cereals group cereals group okay what comes under cereals group you every day you you must eat some amount of cereal that is rice 
every day we consume rice bread bread means roti that is wheat and also bread you consume in place of maize uh, maize flour that is also a toasted bread noodles noodles also come under cereals group they basically provide us carbohydrate and minerals basically they provide carbohydrates and minerals carbohydrates and minerals okay so you can also pause the video and write if you are facing problem in the speed thank you so now the fourth group is fruits and vegetables it is a most important group all should consume every day fruits and vegetables so there is no need to give examples about fruits and vegetables all are included in this as you know you must have read in your lower classes fruits and vegetables so it provides us vitamins they are very rich in vitamins vegetables and fruits and uh, fruits are also very rich in minerals some vegetables are also very rich in minerals minerals and also you know fruits are good source of carbohydrate so they also provide carbohydrate and potato is a very good source of starch which provides us quick energy in form of carbohydrates that are good source of carbohydrates so we let's move to the next part that is so everyone if you are not taking meat you should consume dairy food that is milk products or uh, you should have some pulses so that protein you will get because protein is the most important part of your balanced diet so what is reducing food waste or wastage of food that is we should not waste food why we should not waste food because food is the essential element of all the living beings of this world aur kuch kuch log aise hain jinhe दो वक्त की रोटी नहीं मिलती दे डोंट गेट देयर ब्रेड एंड बटर सो इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट वी शुड नॉट वेस्ट फूड सो दैट समथिंग इज लेफ्ट फॉर देम सो व्हाट वी शुड डू टू वेस्ट फूड जस्ट वी विल रीड अ जिस्ट ऑफ इट विल नॉट राइट टू मच बिग पॉइंट्स दैट इज डू नॉट बाय मच फूड फर्स्ट पॉइंट very important point you may get it as a long question right just steps to reduce food waste do not buy much food at a time at a time the next is store food in refrigerator store food in refrigerator store food all must be having one one refrigerator store food in refrigerator i am not adding in refrigerator you can write it then the third point is so if cooked food is left over and you don't want to eat it store in refrigerator that is the same thing as store food do not waste food do not throw food do not throw food if you are do not throw food if not stale and don't make food stale don't cook much food at a time 
cook that much food what is how much is required so for today this much my dear children thank you for your cooperation we will meet in the next class with a new chapter till then take care bye bye and please do like and subscribe the channel